Good morning and uh, welcome to the Kimber Bay Church uh, Daily Vlog. Um, I'm going to be looking at um, Jesus uh, being the root of David today. Um, that's found in um, Revelation chapter 5 and verse 5. Um, I've really been enjoying um, all the different um, names for Jesus that, that, we, that we started uh, last week and a bit or so. And um, today we'll be looking at Jesus as the root of David. Now, I don't know about you, but I've always found this um, title for Jesus. I've always found it not strange, but I've always found it intriguing. Um, because if you just look at it just on the face of it, just on face value, if you just think, well, Jesus is the root of David. Well, I thought if you were doing, you know, Jesus family tree, you know, just looking at Jesus genealogy, you'll think, well, Jesus is meant to be a descendant of David and not the other way around. Uh, because um, if you if you're quite if you're if you're quite conversant with, um, you know, the genealogy of Jesus from Adam to Abraham, there's uh, 14 generations from Abraham to David, another 14 generations, and from David to Jesus, there's another 14 generations. And according to the family tree, David <laughs> came before Jesus. David was around over a thousand years before the Lord Jesus, um, you know, came into existence in the world. So what's what's um, the Apostle John was he referring to in the book of Revelation, you know, Revelation chapter five and verse five, calling Jesus the root of David? Well, I want to take us back to two scriptures very quickly just to see that when Jesus was on the face of the earth, he actually told us he revealed something about himself. And that's why I believe we've been looking at the different names of Jesus to see the different ways in which uh, Jesus reveals himself or the word of God, what the word of God reveals about Jesus, both in the Old Testament and in the New Testament. And uh, what we find in the book of Revelation, chapter five, verse five, which is what we're looking at this morning uh, about Jesus being the root of David. Well, what does that mean? I just want to take us back to two scriptures very quickly. The first scripture I want to look at is found in John chapter eight and verse 58. It's very intriguing. It's a very, very, very exciting story. If you want to read John chapter 8, you know, between John chapter 8 and John chapter 10, Jesus has a lot of run-ins with, with uh, the Pharisees and the teachers of the law. And Jesus was speaking to them. And um, in John chapter 8, verse 58, Jesus said to them about Abraham, Jesus said, before Abraham was, I am. So Jesus was basically saying that he existed before Abraham. And he even goes on to say, if you read, you know, the verse, the, you know, the verse before uh, uh, verse 58 of John chapter 8, Jesus said that Abraham rejoiced to see my day. In other words, Abraham was looking forward to when I would become a man. So, but then Jesus said, before Abraham was, I am. And Jesus was referring to the fact that he was in existence. He was God. Don't forget, he was God before he became a man and we're going to look at that um uh, in a few moments the second um second um uh uh, uh, uh uh second uh passage of scripture i want to look at to do with jesus being the root uh of david as it were is found in uh, in in the book of matthew uh chapter 22 and from and from verse 41 to 45 again jesus had a run in with uh, the, the teachers of the law and the Pharisees, Jesus actually asked them a, a question for change um, in this passage of scripture. Jesus said um, to Jesus, asked them, so who's, who's um, son, whose son um, is, 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 is the, what do you think about the Christ? Whose son is he? Um, is he and the, 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 the teachers of the law replied by saying, oh, Jesus is the son of David. And then Jesus quoted from Psalm uh, 100 and, uh, 110 the Lord said to my Lord sit at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool and then Jesus asked them a question and said if David called Christ the, mes the Messiah if he called him Lord how then is he his son so again Jesus was revealing that he being God 
uh, was around before David was and David was calling the Messiah, that's Jesus, was calling him Lord. So how could he be his son? So when we come back to Jesus being the root of David, Jesus is God and he was in existence before Abraham. You know that scripture, before Abraham was, I am. And also even before David was, Jesus was because David called him Lord. So he couldn't be his son if he was his Lord. So remember uh, last last week, um, Trevor uh, looked at the fact that Jesus was the word of life. And he quoted from John chapter 1 verse 1. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. Referring to Jesus, in the beginning was the word. The word was with God. The word was God. Jesus is the eternal creator. He's always been in eternity. He, he was there in the beginning with the Father. He's always been there. So that's why he could say before Abraham was, I am. Because he was there with the Father when everything was made. From the beginning of time, God has always been and he's always been Jesus has always been with his father and that's why he could he, that's why he's lord and he's lord over David not the other way round so we see that Jesus was uh, was before Abraham it was before David so therefore that's why he's the root of David not the other way around. Now, if you look in other translations, um, it transfers that word root in, in different, it, it uses different words. So I'm just going to read some, some things out to you, what it says about Jesus uh, being uh, the root. Um, in, um, in the New Living Translation, it refers to him being the heir instead of using the word root. Um, in the... Um, in the new century version, he calls him the descendant. In the um, contemporary English version, he calls him the great descendant. And in the Good News Bible as well, he calls him the great descendant. Um, all these are very good translations, but it doesn't really convey what we're looking at today. Because Jesus is not, with him being the root, he's not really portraying, portraying him as the descendant. I like what he says in the classified, amplified version. He calls him the source. And that's a better translation. Jesus being the root of David means he is the source. And when you look at what the word root means, the word root means it's the basic cause, source or origin of something. And that's what it means about Jesus being the root of David. He is the cause. He is the source, he is the origin, he, because nothing was made, like the Bible says in the book of John, it says, without him was nothing made that was made. He is the origin, by him everything was made. He upholds all things by the word of his power. Everything that we see exists because of Jesus, including David. He is the source of David. He is the source of of, of everything created. That's why he is the root of David. Not the descendant. He is the root. He is the basis. He is the cause. He is the reason why we're here. Um, he's the one who he gives life to everything. So he's the, he's the foundation. He's the source. He's the root of David. That's why he's the root of David. And he's the root of you as well. You're here. You're breathing, you're alive because everything was made through Jesus. And so it, it causes us to see how great the Savior is, how wonderful he is. He is God, he's always been with God and, and we all exist because he gave us life. And if you don't know him, he can give you life again uh, because he is the very source of life, is the source of new life. So I'm just going to pray. Uh, and thank God for Jesus being the root of David. Dear Lord, uh, we just thank you for who you are. We thank you that you are the source, you're the origin, you're the reason why we exist. Help us to give you praise and help us to recognize uh, that you're the root of everything and you should be the root of everything in our lives. In Jesus' name, Amen. 
Okay, God bless, stay safe, and we'll see you soon.